Yeah, mateys, this is Crafty Watch, the only place that you can get weekly updates on new uploads, Discord news, and community posts from your favorite President's Play Dungeons and Dragons channels. In tonight's episode. Ah, well, that can only mean one thing. We've got breaking news for you, mateys! The company, known as Eleven Labs, highly regarded in the last year or so as being the go-to site to get your AI voice, has now gone fully scorched earth across the community and banned out all voices that are not your own. This has been a complete letdown for everybody who does AI presidents play D&D community, and there has been mixed reception, from the completely outraged to the, nah, who gives a fuck, I've got another site to use. At the time of this recording, nearly every single channel that, uh, that uses the presidents has ceased their videos as they look into alternative sources of AI recording software and voice generation. This has affected every single one of them, ladies, except for those that a few months ago were giving out everybody a fair warning this was going to happen. They had already started switching over and making the changes. But I tell you now, mateys, they weren't the only ones that were attempting to make changes. We all were. We were all trying to try the trick 11 labs with our pitch change, or we're using alternatives like PlayHT. <laughs> I spit on the ground at them because they are shite. But you had to make do with what you had. However, 11 labs just finally went overboard. They didn't only just get rid of the president's voices, they got rid of fucking all of them. What's the fucking point of having the feature in there that you can clone voices? If you can't clone voices, you're just fucking renewing the whole fucking point of it. But anyway, channels like AI Guy, Clone, Brick House, and so on and so forth have all been posting up on their community pages saying they're actively working on how to deal with this situation going forward. It could very well mean that you will start seeing some dip in quality of voices in the near future with these videos. Now, of course, most people, they're not interested in the voices anymore these days. They're like the stories that get brought out. So hopefully, most of these channels won't see too much of a backlash from what's coming up. The only place that's really gonna see a backlash is gonna be Eleven Labs when they next look at their fucking account and they realize they've just lost a shit ton of money. Well done. I really hope you're proud of yourselves, Eleven Labs, you stupid wank stain. I mean, did you really think that people were watching these videos and going, Oh my goodness, that's actually Donald Trump. That's actually Obama. No, unlike these two thick as shit planks of woods in fucking suits, we can tell the difference between reality and fantasy. We can tell that that picture there of the cartoonish version of Donald Trump isn't actually saying the shit that you fucking putting up there. Oh my fucking god, what a fucking disgrace this is. Ah, <sighs> right. Let me calm it down a little bit, mateys. Let me pull it back a little bit because I'm getting all irated. I'm getting angry. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I have decided that enough is enough, and I have taken a step back for the time being in making my videos for the Tyranny of Dragons series. I know, now I've had a lot of responses from a lot of you mateys, and it's really touched my heart, I tell you that now. I do appreciate all the support, but mateys, I'm just making this as a conscious decision because I'm not going to keep going through the fucking hassle of every other week where something else is getting in my way and I'm trying to make a damn video. I've already got enough going on as it is. I've got my own little Crafty Junior on the way. For those who didn't see the video yesterday, or, uh, but those who have, have seen it and they did say something, thank you very much. Yes, we are very excited. I can't wait to bring the little wallet drainer into this world. It's going to be fantastic. But I digress. Eleven Labs, go fuck yourselves. Let's move on to the next thing. I put a poll out earlier on last week just saying, uh, you know, what did you think the new announcement was going to be this weekend. It was going to be a big one. And on one of those, it was Eleven Labs was going to unban the voices. Well, that fucking, that didn't happen, did it? <laughs> no. Now, let's see. What else did we put on there? Ah, oh, yes. AI guy was going to say goodbye to YouTube. Well, no. Of course, that wasn't going to fucking happen either. Come on, people. He's the most successful one out there. Who the fuck voted for that? <laughs> right. Next one. 
Coco Mimi and clone engagement. Now, apparently a few people got a bit confused here uh, between, like, what did I actually mean by engagement? I was talking about prenuptials, you know, gonna get married, tie the knot, you know, and all that sort of stuff. But of course I was fucking joking. I don't even know if they even have spoken to each other. Uh, what next? Tyranny of Dragons Season 2. Well, thanks to all the fucking shit that's been going on lately, that ain't happening either. So, of course, what's the big news this weekend, meanies? It's Malifrax. He's coming back. <laughs> that's right. He mentioned it a little while ago to myself and several of the other meanies that we share a Discord group with that he is planning on coming back. We should be seeing an episode possibly tomorrow, if not the following Monday. Now, he wasn't going to be using Eleven Labs. He was using other... Uh, sites such as PlayHD, <laughs> but no doubt, no one will give a shit because everybody loves Malifrex. He is the goat, as they call him. So keep your eyes peeled, matey. Whatever I just said there, get over to his site, get over to his channel, hit that fucking subscribe button, get that notification bell a ring, and get ready. We're bringing back the Malifrex. Ah, oh, right. I'll calm it down a bit. I actually feel much better now that we uh, we talked about the good news that was coming in. Um, now, it's a bit different from what we normally do. Uh, I thought I'd change up the style a little bit now that this is going to be my primary focus on the type of videos for now. Although, I say that, I did have somebody suggest that maybe I do a bit of a get-together, do some actual D&D &D sessions, maybe with uh, ladies who follow the channel, maybe with other content creators. I'm looking into the idea. I actually think that would be quite fun. Maybe not as like a running campaign, but maybe like a series of one shots. That way then multiple people can get involved and stuff. Don't know, early days yet, but we'll see where it goes from there. I think we're gonna wrap this up. Unfortunately, mateys, there's no channels that have been uploading anything. There was a, oh, oh, tell a lie. There's a new content creator. I say new, he's new into the, into the, uh, the D and D genre. His name is Baffer Crook. I, I think. I don't know if I got that right. And he's already brought out four parts. Um, did that for a couple of weeks. Uh, matey, who, uh, one of the followers of the content creators, he posted this link up the other day. So I was like, oh, good on you, matey. Yeah, yeah keeping, uh, keeping that going. Keep that spirit going. Get those, get those new content creators out there. Now, I say uh, new content creators. Like I said, the fella's been around for a while. It looks like he's given a bit of a dab hand at this. Good luck to you, mateys, with everything that's going on. Uh, I'll throw a link down in the description. Go check them out. And that brings us to the end of a slightly chaotic episode of Crafty Watch. Uh, let me know any thoughts down below, meaties. Um, cause, you know, this is the only real, like, video project I'm going to be working on now, these days, at the moment. Until I can come up with something else. And uh, so, all I did is quite welcome. Let me know your thoughts down below. And yeah, until next time. Have a good evening. Yarrr!